Are you considering ordering a GMRS repeater system? Before choosing a repeater frequency for your new system, you'll be told to pick from one of eight repeater frequencies. But is that all? Hi, I'm Cody, W3AMG with BridgeCom Systems. Today, I'm going to share with you how to effectively choose the proper frequency pair so you can get your GMRS system on the air. Now, before we pick a frequency, first, we need to look at FCC's Part 95, Section 95.359, Sharing of Channels. Unless otherwise provided in the subparts governing the individual services, all channels designated for use in the personal radio services are available for use on a shared basis and are not assigned by the FCC for exclusive use by any person or station. Operators of personal radio service stations must cooperate in the selection and use of channels in order to avoid interference and make efficient use of the shared channels. Currently, there's no formal coordination process. Just monitor a frequency for a while to ensure it's quiet, then go ahead and use it. If you find there's interference later on, it's up to the licensees to resolve the issue between themselves. Basically what this means is you pick from one of the eight repeater frequencies for GMRS, monitor it, so listen, I would recommend listening in different areas around your local area and maybe at different times of the day so you can be really sure there's no one on it, and then go ahead and use it. At this point, you need to consider where you're going to get your system. Here at BridgeCom Systems, we will provide you with an affordable GMRS repeater system tailored to your needs. Securing one of these outstanding repeaters for yourself is easy. Simply click the link in the description and schedule a call with our team. Thanks again for watching. I'm Cody, W3AMG with BridgeCom Systems, 7-3.